Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Christine and I would love for you to join my YouTube family by clicking on the subscribe button as well as the notification bell beside it so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. For today's video guys, I will be doing a casual and simple get ready with me and gusto ko din sanang itry on camera yung mga products ni Sun Glow which is yung collaboration ni May Layug and Ray Hermar together with Fresh Skin Lab. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. As usual guys, nagawa ko na yung kilay ko of cam as you guys can see. And since very simple look lang yung gagawin ko for today's video, pwede na ako mag-start sa base makeup ko. So the first thing I will be doing is to prime my skin. And for that, I will be using the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. Gustong gusto ko tong primer na to kasi very glowy siya sa skin. And at the same time, medyo nakaka-hydrate din siya ng skin. So I'm just going to be applying this all over my skin. So, as you guys can see, very glowy talaga yung primer na ginamit natin. That is the reason why I love this primer, especially if I'm doing yung mga minimal makeup looks. Kasi it gives a very nice glow to the skin. So, right now, um, itatry out na natin yung sun glow. So, the first thing I will be trying out is itong tinted sunscreen nila. I bought two shades. Meron ako si fair at saka si medium. Pero sure ako, okay na sa akin si medium. And the main reason why I purchased si fair kasi... Um, yung crayons BB cream ko is super dark sa akin and hindi pa ako nakabili nung lighter shade nun. So, I am planning to use this para um, ma-lighten up yung crayons BB cream ko. So, um, iset aside ko muna tong fair. And for today's video, ang gagamitin ko is si medium. So, since first time ko siya gagamitin guys, I'm going to blend out the other side using a brush and then yung isang side naman is with a sponge. So, this is the area kung saan nalagyan na natin ng tinted sunscreen, guys. As you guys can see, na-even out niya yung skin tone ko. Pero, hindi niya totally natakpan yung mga imperfections ko sa skin tulad ng dark spots. And, hindi ko naman ina-expect na matatakpan niya totally yung mga dark spots ko. Kasi, tinted sunscreen lang siya. Hindi siya full coverage foundation. Pero, um, as a tinted sunscreen, sobrang ganda ng coverage niya as you guys can see. Kasi usually kapag mga ganitong tinted sunscreen, very very minimal lang yung coverage. Pero um, with this product, na-cover up niya yung mga kailangan na i-cover up. And hindi ko na nakikita yung mga veinings ko. Yung nakikita ko na lang is yung mga dark spots ko. So, um, gagamitin ko naman tong tinted sunscreen na to on the other side using a sponge. So, this is the side kung saan blend out natin using a damp sponge. And as expected, mas sheer yung coverage niya since um, pag gumagamit kayo ng sponge or ng damp sponge, mas nababawasan yung coverage ng product. So, as expected, uh, mas nagpipick through dito yung dark spots ko. So, cover fully yung mga dark spots ko, gagamit na lang ako ng concealer. And gagamitin ko yung favorite concealer ko which is yung L'Oreal Full Wear Concealer in the shade Amber. And gagamitin ko lang to to cover up my dark spots. To highlight my face naman, gagamitin ko yung same concealer pero in the shade Natural Rose. To set everything in place guys, gagamitin ko lang tong si Benai Neutral Set Translucent Powder. So, alam kong available na yung translucent powder ng Sun Glow, guys. Kaya lang wala pa ako kasi um, nagdadalawang isip pa ako kung bibilhin ko siya. Pero, if you're interested dun sa translucent compact powder nila na may SPF 50 din, available na siya, I think, sa Lazada and sa Watson. So, if you're interested, you can purchase that. So, so far, guys, I like this product kasi... Um, tinted sunscreen lang siya pero grabe yung coverage niya. Although hindi niya natakpan totally yung mga dark spots ko which is expected naman na kasi hindi naman siya yung tipong foundation na full coverage talaga. Pero bilang isang tinted sunscreen ang ganda ng coverage niya and ang ganda ng pagkakalapat niya sa skin ko kasi hindi siya kikitignan. 
And I love the fact na drugstore product siya, very affordable. Pero, ang taas ng SPF niya, which is very much needed. Especially dito sa country natin. So, so far guys, I like this product. So, ngayon naman, gagawin ko lang yung eyeshadow ko. I'm just going to prime my eyes using the Essence Eye Heart Stage Eyeshadow Base. For my eyeshadow, guys, gagamitin ko si Wet n Wild Rose in the Air Eyeshadow Palette. And the first shade I will be taking is this shade right here, which is labeled as the Transition Shade. Gagamitin ko lang to as my Transition Shade. So, itong makeup look na gagawin ko guys is very simple lang kasi mag-film lang naman ako ng haul later on after this video. And gusto ko lang talagang i-try out yung mga product ng Sun Glow. Um, hindi siya totally, itong video na to is na totally a review kasi sobrang dami ng review ng mga products na to. And at the same time, super late na ako. So, hindi ko na siya gagawan ng in-depth review. Gagamitin ko lang siya and isi-share ko lang sa inyo kung ano yung thoughts ko about their product. Pero, if you're looking for an in-depth review, you can definitely look for other videos sa YouTube. So, next thing guys, ikukuha lang ako ng smaller blending brush and then, ito naman yung shade na gagamitin ko. Kaya, apply ko lang din siya on the crease area of my eyes. For my lid area, gagamitin ko tong favorite na glitter eyeshadow ko from Skin Food. This is the My Desert Party Single Eyeshadow in the shade G06. So, ganyan lang itsura niya. Sobrang ganda nito, guys. Pag nilagay mo lang siya sa eyelids, para siyang mga kalat-kalat na glitter. Super, super nice. So, I'm just going to apply this on the lid area of my eyes. So, ganyan lang siya. So, gusto ko yung parang kalat-kalat lang siya na glitters. Yung hindi siya masyado precise. And then, gagamitin ko lang itong darkest shade from the palette para lang i-define yung outer corners ng eyes ko. So, ganyan lang yung eye look na gagawin ko for today. And then, for my lower lash line, gagamitin ko lang yung mga parehong shade na ginamit ko using a pencil brush. Very simple, very casual lang. Para lang magkaroon ng unting kulay yung mata ko. And then, i-apply ko lang on the outer corners of my lower lashes yung darkest shade. So, ito yung look na lagi kong ginagamit kapag lalabas kami ni mama dati bago mag-lockdown. Kasi madali siyang gawin and bagay siya sa lahat. And then, for today, um, hindi ako maglalagay ng false eyelashes. I'm just going to curl my lashes and mascara lang tayo for today. And then, for my bottom lashes, um, hindi ako maglalagay ng mascara. Lately, parang mas gusto ko yung ganong look, yung medyo mas open, tignan yung lower lashes. And, sa so sobrang haba kasi ng lower lashes ko, minsan parang ang awkward tignan kapag minimal makeup look lang, tapos may mascara yung ilalim ng mata ko. So, pag ganitong mga minimal looks, mas gusto ko yung walang mascara yung lower lashes ko. For my mascara guys, ito yung gagamitin ko, which is my current favorite mascara, the Essence Volume Stylist Curl and Hold Mascara. Yung mga mascara ng Essence, tsaka ng Catrice Cosmetics guys, magaganda din sila. And pati may bilin, yan yung mga madalas kong binibilhan ng mascara. So now, contour ko naman yung skin ko para lang hindi flat tignan yung face ko. And as usual, ito yung gagamitin ko, which is my favorite um, bronzer from the drugstore. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Contour Mega Contour Palette in the shade Dulce de Leche. For my blush, guys, gusto lang yung very natural tignan, yung hindi masyadong matingkad sa cheeks. So, this one is the Detail Makeover Bloom Matte Blush in the shade um, innocent. Sobrang gustong-gusto ko to. Ewan ko kung nakikita yung sa camera, pero parang ang boring yung tignan na blush. Pero pag in-apply mo siya sa skin, super super nice na tignan and very natural lang siyang blush. So, I love using this especially yung mga ganitong looks. Yung very simple looks lang. So, last step sa face guys is highlighter and ang gagamitin ko is si Everbelena Glow Out Highlighter in the shade Spotlight. Ito yung latest shade nila and 
um, among the three shades na meron sa line na to, ito yung favorite ko kasi sobrang ganda ng shade na to. I think wala pa tong 200 pesos. Very blinding tong highlighter na to. Pero, kung marunong kayong mag-control ng kamay nyo, pwede nyo din siyang gawin na parang everyday highlighter. For lips guys, merong tatlong shades ang sun glow ng kanilang tinted lip screen. And first time ko makakita ng lip product na merong SPF 50, which is actually really nice kasi hindi karamihan ng tao na re-realize na kailangan din nilang um, lagyan ng SPF yung lips nila. Kasi kung hindi, magda-dry out sila and at the same time, mangingitim yung edges. So this one is a really nice product to have. So si Very Berry, meron siyang yellow packaging as you guys can see. Pare-pareha sila, pero magkakaiba lang sila ng um, shade indication. So, si Very Berry is kulay yellow. So, this one is Very Berry. Very, ano siya, very pinky shade. And, wag nyo iisipin na full coverage tong product na to for your lips kasi lip screen lang siya, parang lip balm lang siya. So, hindi siya parang liquid lipstick na talagang solid yung color. Um, very sheer lang yung formula niya. And sa napapansin ko, hindi siya mabigat sa lips. Hindi siya uncomfortable. Ako, personally, ayoko yung lip balm na mabigat. Yung parang talagang may nakapato nakapatong sa lips mo. So, this one is really nice kasi very lightweight siya sa lips. And maganda yung formula niya. Very moisturizing siya sa lips. Kaya lang, itong shade na to, hindi talaga siya bagay sa akin. Pero, ito yung swatch niya. So, next shade is Sangria. Ito yung favorite shade naman ni Ray Hermar. So, ganito yung tura packaging naman niya. Purple yung indicator niya. And, same packaging dun sa box. Ang shade niya is para siyang terracotta orange or red. Actually, bagay siya sa damit ko. So, you guys can see. So, ganito yung shade niya. So, yung mga ganitong shade, okay din to sa skin tone ko. Yung mga ganito namang medyo pink, medyo um, hindi ako mahilig sa ganitong shade. So, yung mga ganitong warm, orangey, reddish shade, mas gusto ko yung ganito. So, tignan natin siya sa lips. Parang iba-iba sila ng scent. Mabango din to. Hindi ako marunong mag-describe ng scent. Pero parang mga fruity yung scent nila. Bango. So, ito naman yung Sangria, guys. As compared kay Very Very, mas gusto ko to compared sa kanilang dalawa. Kasi, mas okay yung shade niya sa akin, mas bagay. Bagay na tong lip color na to sa look ko, pero try pa rin natin yung isa, which is si Sunkiss. Um, ito yung bestseller nila. Aher, nung nag-order ako, ito lagi yung sold out. So, kailangan ko munang maghintay na mag-restock sila nitong si Sunkiss para sabay-sabay um, na yung shipping. So, ito naman si Sunkiss. So, blue naman yung packaging niya. I mean, yung indicator niya. So, ganyan yung isura niya. So, let's swatch. Ito talaga yung favorite ko based sa swatches nila may layog. So, as you guys can see, parang siyang mauve dusty rose kind of shade. Iba din yung scent nito, guys. As compared dun sa dalawa, ito mas, ano siya, mas matamis yung scent niya. Ito talaga yung favorite shade ko na, guys si Sunkiss. Tulad ng ibang mga nag-review, ito din yung favorite shade nila. So, ito na yung isusot ko for the rest of the day. Kasi, um, bagay siya sa look ko and ang ganda ng shade. Talagang gusto, gusto ko yung mga ganitong shade. Yung parang mauve shade. So, last product to try out from Sun Glow is yung famous Sun Mist nila. Ito guys, meron din siyang SPF 50. So, it's very nice. Dalawa yung cup niya. Para in, just in case mawala mo yung isa, meron ka pang isang cup. Wow! Very fine ng mist. Bango. May pabango. Grabe guys, ang ganda ng mist nito. Very fine. And kahit isang spray mo lang, sakup na yung buong mukha mo. So, sobrang fine ng mist niya. Hindi mo maramdaman kung um napunta sa mukha mo yung mismong product. Pero, ganito yung mga gusto kong mist kasi 
um, super fine siya and hindi niya nasisira yung makeup. So, itong product na to guys, isa to sa pinaka-inaabangan ko from their collection. Kasi, for me personally, um, sabi nga nila, kailangan mong i-apply yung sunscreen mo throughout the day every 4 hours. And, lagi kong tinatanong, paano ko gagawin yun kung meron na akong full face of makeup? Alam nga naman, tanggalin ko yung makeup ko and then, magre-reapply ng sunscreen and then magre-reapply ulit ng makeup. So, for me, ano ba yung most convenient way to reapply your sunscreen? So, nung nakikita ko to sa collection nila and sinabi nilang um, meron siyang SPF 50, sabi ko, perfect. Kasi, madali siyang gamitin at the same time, nasiset yung makeup mo and natatanggal yung powdery looking finish sa face mo kapag nag apply ka ng makeup. And, Dahil nga may SPF 50 na siya, um, nare-reapply mo na din yung skin protection mo throughout the day. So, this one is a really nice must-have product for your Kikai kit. Especially right now, um, medyo mainit na yung araw, malakas na yung rays ng araw. So, this one is a really nice must-have product on your Kikai kit to reapply your sunscreen. So, that is it for today's video, guys. Very casual and simple. Get ready with me lang yung ginawa ko. And at the same time, gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo, guys, yung thoughts ko about the Sun Glow products. I'm really happy na nag-invest ako sa mga products na to kasi very useful silang lahat. Especially kasi may um, SPF sila and very affordable lang sila. So, I'm really happy to share my thoughts about these products to you guys. That is basically it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to hit the like button kung nagustuhan nyo tong video na to. Kung meron pa kayong ibang um, mga requests for future videos, make sure to leave them on the comment section down below. And make sure to share this video to your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!